I just like it so much. Let's see what it looks like. I think it's here. <laughs> Today we're gonna see another way of transferring a photo or an image to different surfaces. And we're going to use something I haven't used before on this channel. So the transfer medium today is actually 100% acetone. I might have mentioned it in my book and also on this channel, but I haven't actually used it before. So this will be a test to see if it actually works. As far as I know, it's a good way to transfer graphics and text, but I'm not sure it's gonna work with my photos. So let's see, let's see what it looks like. Using this transfer method, we can transfer to wood or glass. We can uh, even transfer to a mirror or a metal, ceramic tile, and I think it works best on paper. I mean, I like the vintage appearance that it creates, and it even works on tissue paper. It's very versatile. For this transfer, you can use black and white photo, color photo, text, illustration, and any other graphics you have. Next, we need to print a mirror image using a laser printer on standard copy paper. You can also use a toner-based photocopy from your local print center. And if you don't have a laser printer, stick around to the end of this video. I will let you know how you can transfer your photos with an inkjet printer. It's also a good idea to use an image that is clear and has high contrast. So yeah, our transfer medium is acetone and you can use the nail polish remover stuff, but it has to be 100% acetone or it won't work. This nail polish remover has acetone, but in low concentration. So this one is just not going to transfer our image. As I mentioned, we can transfer to many different surfaces and I'm going to transfer to this piece of craft wood. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe. I make this type of videos every week and you don't want to miss one. Place the image face down and secure it with removable tape. You only need to tape it down on one side so you can still lift the image and check on the progress of the transfer. Use a cotton ball to apply the acetone to a small area on the back of the print until the image is visible. Use a card or a bone folder to burnish the image until the acetone dries and the image is not visible anymore. Lift the paper to check on the progress of the transfer and continue applying acetone to another section and repeat burnishing. And if you like this process, you would love my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. It's available on Amazon, so check it out soon. I like this uh, distressed look. What I love about photos transferred with acetone is that they turn out sort of distressed and vintage looking. And I kind of like it. I think it works well with my uh, type of photography. They definitely don't turn out clear, which I think is a plus. But if you want clear photos, this is not the right transfer method for you. You can also transfer color photos, but again, uh, color photos also don't come out clear and they look distressed. And they even come out uh, sort of faint, but I like this appearance. So it's up to you if you wanna try acetone. Yeah, this was a fun test, uh, something fun to do. 
and try out. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're gonna give it a try, if you like this uh, kind of uh, appearance for your transfer, and if not, you know, that's okay too. And we get all kind of different uh, results, and some of them are fun and some of them are not for us, you know, so. And if you don't have a laser printer, check out this uh, playlist over here. <laughs> and it has a, a bunch of uh, different uh, methods, uh, including inkjet uh, transfer methods for your photos or your images. So check it out, check it out right here. I think it's here. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.